on today's Techno Babble. Audio testing three really cheap mics. <laughs> This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now, here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to Tech No Babble. This is the show where every week we talk about using video and graphic design in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions, leave your comments, etc. So just do that below the video if you're watching the video. But if you're listening to the audio, no problem as well. Head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com contact. There you can leave your comment or I've got all my contact information listed there, including my Twitter handle, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. So you can take a look right there. So, right now, what I'm using is the Audio Technica Pro 70. It's a lavalier mic, and it's what I use for most of my videos. Now, the reason is actually pretty simple. I talk with my hands. And when I used to use the Behringer XM8500, um, I really like the sound of this, but I kept hitting it with my hands as I'm gesturing. So I really had a choice. I could stick my hands under my legs and try not to use them or find another option. Now, my first idea was clearly I'm going to use a shotgun mic. So what I did was I did some research. I heard that while there are better shotgun mics out there. The, the one that everyone said was kind of a minimum, like don't dare buy anything cheaper than this, was the Natty SGM-12. So I went ahead and I bought the, the Natty SGM-12. Actually, I had a, another shotgun mic beforehand and I didn't like it because it didn't have an XLR out. It was designed to go directly into a, like a DSLR, but the problem was DSLRs have noisy preamps. So that really wasn't a good thing for me. So I got rid of that and got this Natty shotgun mic and, well, let me turn it on and we'll compare. So. Here we are, uh, the shotgun mic is now on. You may or may not hear a difference. I'm not actually monitoring the audio directly, but basically what I've learned about this is it's kind of quiet. This is the problem that I have with it is it feels like it's not sending out enough signal, which is kind of odd because shotgun mics being condenser mics tend to pick up really well. So I don't know if that's because it's rejecting the outside audio or what. Now let me turn off the Audio-Technica Pro 70 so that you can hear a little bit better. So now we're just uh, going on the Natty SGM-12 and I don't know um, the sound isn't horrid. I, I've had worse mics. It's just not the best. So that's that mic. So now let's compare to the um, the Behringer XM8500. You probably just heard that. Here, let me turn off the Natty so we can get a good comparison. Okay, I am still sending signal. That's always my concern when I'm doing things like this because what I, I, um, my mixer is actually at the church right now as a prop for the kids' ministry. So I had to basically, I have two channels and three mics, so I had to do some switching. So 
This is the Behringer XM8500. So, I don't know, which do you think sounds best? Purely from a sound perspective, I always liked this mic. I've had it the longest. I've had it about 10 years. And it's never given me any trouble. Secondly, I like the shotgun. Uh, I like the lavalier mic, the Audio-Technica Pro 70. Had it about a year, and it's fine. The Natty SGM-12, it's a little quiet, but there are, are occasions where you need a shotgun mic. So I'm glad I have all three, but I think that it could be better in certain circumstances. Now, you might be wondering, so you said cheap mics. How much do each of these microphones cost? Well, all three of them, none of them are over $100. In fact, the Audio-Technica Pro 70 is 96 The Natty SGM-12 is about... $35, $40, something like that. And I'll have links to all these in the show notes. And finally, the Behringer XM8500 is $20. So you can see how really the Behringer is a ripoff of the, um, the Shure SM58. I mean looks identical virtually if you didn't know I don't think that you would know so for a lot of churches doing video ministry you need a microphone as long as it's something where it makes sense to have a handheld microphone also called a stick microphone this is a good choice if you need a lavalier this is a good choice uh, it's wired so you're not going to have any interference, but it's wired, so you're going to have a cable. The shotgun, a little quiet, but it's better than the on-camera mic. So I guess it comes down to which of those three you like the sound best of and which of those three you think um, fits your needs best. Well, I hope you like this content. I hope that it was helpful to you, and I hope that you can use it in your church. If you like it, don't hesitate to subscribe to my email newsletter. That's located at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. And there I have some free gifts for you, and I would love for you to pick up one of those, and a free subscription to my email newsletter. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.